this child uh, primarily we we would like to prepare you for the graduate and postgraduate exams and especially the short cases can you look some signs some positive signs in this child of one and a half year old uh, he's small for his age uh, and uh, can you see the fisting and can you see the uh, movement of the uh, mouth uh, and what about the development can you say that uh, he can stand can you say that he can walk would you expect otherwise him to walk around or not at the age of one and a half year what is the significance of this fisting what it depicts and you, if you want to open the fingers and if you want to extend the elbows So there is increased spasticity. So can you see the legs? What sign can you see? Uh, this is very typical sign of scissoring. You know scissor? And this is scissoring. And scissoring is uh, uh, a very obvious sign of uh, increased tone in the lower leg. And you can see that I it's very difficult to flex the, the uh, feet. So there is increased tone and there is increased tone at the knee level as well. How would you manage this child? What would be uh, the, the management in such a case? And what would you expect in the future? There is otherwise a multidisciplinary approach for such child. So you need to have an occupational therapist, you need to have a physiotherapist, uh, you need to have a psychologist. So in our third world country setting, we don't have such uh, uh, kind of facilities available uh, for the support of such families. But we do in a small unit like this uh, would uh, uh, tell them the comprehensive management for future. And we would like otherwise to make such a child to be independent when uh, he goes to the, the adult life, adulthood. Uh, still, I would think that he would be having the problem in walking. Uh, it seems the intelligence, so there is is not a global delay otherwise in such a case uh, sometimes you do see global delay but i think they it's uh, social skills seems to be normal intelligence seems to be normal so i hope that in future he would uh, take up some kind of profession so uh, there is sometimes you have social handicap and sometimes you have uh, an occupational handicap so i don't think uh, it would be uh, occupationally handicapped and he would be able to though there, there would be weakness uh, uh, the global weakness in the all four limbs uh, and the, uh, the ultimate aim is to give them a comprehensive physiotherapy uh, teaching uh, to the mom so they can manage at home and uh, this would be lifelong